Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee at Dollywood's Dream War Resort. We're getting ready to take you to a restaurant inside of the hotel called... Sunpun. Right here, you have the Dollywood Express. Right over here, you have the grist mill, cinnamon bread, and the mill. But watch what happens when we flip it around here. It says Dollywood. So, two totally different images, dependent upon which way you look at it. It's really cool. So this is really neat. Right back here is a plank from Dolly Parton's first stage. This was actually from the porch of her Tennessee Mountain Home, which is located here in Sevierville. And right over here is the Dream Box. And right inside this box is a song that has not been released to the general public. However, on Dolly Parton's 100th birthday, which is on January 19th, 2046, it will be released to the public and the public will be able to hear that unreleased song from Dolly Parton. And speaking of Dolly Parton's Tennessee Mountain Home, here's a picture of that home. It was a two-room home. Of course, she had 12 siblings, including her mom and dad. 14 people lived in this one house, two rooms. And this was on one of her many albums. And by the way, this entire wall is filled with Dolly's albums through the years. Look at that. It just goes on and on. Here are some of her albums with Porter Wagner. Of course, Dolly got her start in country music as far as being popularized to the general public by being on the Porter Wagner show. And I could be totally wrong on this, but I think that Heart Candy Christmas is on this album right here. We love that song. So here is a look at the buffet. Here we have mixed greens, okay. southern pea salad. Right here they have blackened catfish. Here are some hush puppies. Right here are the Louisiana mussels. Nashville dry rub pork ribs. Right here is the southern fried chicken. Smashed potatoes. Right next to it, some gravy. Right here are the sweet potatoes and the vegetable ratatouille. Over here are the collard greens, crispy cabbage and bacon. Right here is the grits bar. There's all the toppings that you can put on the grits. There's a number of different things there. Shrimp, there's vegetables to the left, sausage. They do have the choice between red-eyed gravy and Alfredo. And then they have salt and pepper or blackened seasoning. There's the Caesar salad. That's really nice looking fruit. They also have cheese pizza and pepperoni pizza. Right here are the chicken tenders and tater tots. And over here, Got some cheesy macaroni. Here are 
pulled pork sliders. For dessert, they have cupcakes, bread pudding, some peach crisp cookies. Right here is a caramel cake. Over here are some brownies. This is carrot cake. That's interesting. You don't typically see carrot cakes with fruit on top, but it looks pretty good. Here's some chocolate cake. Here's some more cakes on the back. Strawberry cake. Back here we have some pecan pie. Down here we have some tarts. And check this out. They do have a donut wall. And in true Dolly Parton fashion, Gentry just noticed that the plates have butterflies on them. All right, Jennifer, what'd you end up getting there? I got some cabbage and bacon, and I got some collard greens, and these smell wonderful. I got mashed potatoes and gravy, some fish, and some hush puppies, some ribs, and a sweet potato. All right, so I got some pan-seared rainbow trout. I also got some macaroni, sweet potato, collard greens, mashed potatoes and gravy, Nashville ribs. Right here, I've got a pork slider. And over here, some fried chicken. JJ, what do you have there? Fresh puppies, snack mac and cheese, pepperoni pizza, chicken. Yep. And um, chicken tenders. Potato tots and mashed potatoes. And a little pork slider right there as well, right? All right, Henry, what do you got there, buddy? Um, so I um, got the hush puppies. Hush puppies. And I do the don't like that. You don't like that? I'm not sure if you like that or not. Okay, well, no. you can try it to see if you like it. No. What else do you got? Um, chicken, mm -hmm. mashed potatoes. Okay, so right here we have some pan-seared rainbow trout, macaroni. And with every meal, they do have some cheddar biscuits with garlic. Right, Jennifer is going to try some of the grilled catfish. And it also comes with garlic, which there were over here. There's a garlic clove and cherry tomatoes that are just kind of tender. It looks like it's seasoned really well. That catfish is melting in your mouth. It's really, really tasty. And it has a really good kind of like a kick seasoning to it. Not too spicy though. And that tomato sauce is really good. And here are the collard greens. I've already taken a bite of these. I was really excited about these. They smell so good. Uh, they have like a little bit of a vinegary taste to them. Uh, sort of like maybe like an apple cider vinegar and they're seasoned with some either ham or bacon but they're really tasty and here is the cooked cabbage with bacon we had cabbage a lot growing up we would boil it with some polish sausage so tasty that's cooked perfectly also um the bacon it just complements it it's not greasy or anything it just flavors it and it doesn't take over the cabbage taste I'm gonna try the pan seared trout. Here we go. Kinda has a Cajun kick to it. It's got a little heat, a little salty. All right, I'm gonna try the Nashville rub ribs. Here we go. Most Nashville chicken is hot, so I anticipated this having a little heat to it. There's no heat. It's a very sweet rub. Almost like a smoky sweet. And it's delicious. I'm gonna try the pork slider here. It's good, but it almost needs like slaw or a sauce or something like that. Just to give it a little more moisture. It's kind of dry. It's not bad. It's just not great. All right, Gigi, what are your favorite things so far? Pretty much everything. If you had to pick three things, what would you pick? Macaroni, the pizza. It's too hard to pick a third? Yeah. It's also good. Henry, what's your favorite thing? 
the biscuit. All right. So this is interesting. The fish on the menu is labeled as pan-seared rainbow trout, but on the buffet, it's labeled as catfish. It's definitely catfish. They do have a grits bar here. And so Jennifer is getting ready to try the shrimp and grits with spinach, Alfredo. I think they have some uh, tomatoes in there as well, cheese, and there's a blackened seasoning on those grits. Gentry has a donut from the donut bar, bud. It is exactly tasty. Exactly tasty. All right. How's your cookie there, Henry? Is Jello good as well? All right. All right. So Jennifer's going in for some of the shrimp and grits. So it smells really cheesy. I don't want cheese. <laughs> Let me take a bite. That's very tasty. It's a, a savory version of grits. And uh, very, very cheesy. Um, you can mainly taste the cheese. And then you've got the really tender shrimp in there also. Very tasty. All right, guys. Final bill here. Keep in mind that we did receive a discount since we are Dollywood Gold members. It was $112.82. Henry was free, but that is the price with our 15% gold discount, $112.82 for three meals. That was Song and Hearth. Gentry, what did you think about Song and Hearth? So if you get their dessert here and you're already full, do not get the dessert that will... Going up even more. <laughs> Jennifer, what did you think about Song and Hearth? Uh, my favorite was the vegetables. I really enjoyed the collard greens and the cabbage. And uh, I tried mussels for the first time. They were cooked in a lot of uh, garlic and everything. And they t I thought they tasted pretty good. Got a garlic parmesan taste to them. And uh, they almost taste like chicken. I know they say everything tastes like chicken. Oh, yes. And one more thing. The sweet tea. Excellent here. And I will say that I really enjoyed the fried chicken. The banana pudding was good. The ribs were really good. Everything else was oh, underwhelming to me. The one thing that concerned me was that the price was not commensurate to the quality of food. There's so many places here in this town where you can go for much less than $39.95 per person and get the same quality of food, if not better food, and that was the only concerning part to me was the price. If this was $19.99 or even honestly $25 a person, I wouldn't have batted an eye. But $39.95 to me, it's just overpriced. Hey guys, we thank you so much for joining us here today at Song and Hearth. And we sure do look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Everyday is Saturday. Saturday.